going on you guys i am colton the crash gambino uh, i am with malibu hour rc uh, recently i just posted a video of a 120 pound woman riding a stock traxxas trx4 blazer um, i also posted it to facebook and i said stock ish on the facebook post and then i had a bunch of comments uh, of people saying wow that's amazing uh, a couple people said that's stock or that isn't stock i'm sorry and then uh, I wanted to post a follow-up video because I also got comments of, oh, what broke on the truck or if it's still functioning. So I'm here to show you guys. So here she is. My TRX4 Blazer. Now the obvious things out the gate. I have a metal roof rack. A metal front bumper with a worn winch. That is a functioning winch. Uh, metal beadlock wheels and metal wheels themselves with the BFG 1.9 tires some metal rock sliders a metal rear bumper but that's kinda it as you can see underneath there's no supports to the body it still flexes there's nothing else to it That's pretty much the only performance upgrade, if you call it a performance, uh, is the Traxxas uh, upgraded servo with the metal gears and the aluminum housing. There is the part number for it, and then I also have a metal steering horn. Uh, I have a stock, newer, but still stock uh, motor in it. Uh, I blew up, or I didn't blow it up, but I burned up the last one from taking this truck swimming too much. Uh, there's no difference between the motors. They're both the exact same motor, and it's stock. The battery I was running was this one here. A Venom 2-cell, 5,000 milliamp hour, 20C LiPo battery. Uh, the truck was fully locked up on both differentials, and my differential locks are stock. And my transmission shifter is also stock, and this truck was in low gear. I'm also running the stock aluminum bodied coilovers on the truck that came on it. Uh, as you can hear, it's all plastic still. I have brass weights on the axle. These are the only upgrades I have on the axles to counteract for the heavy metal roof rack. Still the stock arms. Everything is still pretty much stock on this truck. Now I also have the stock remote. And I'm going to turn it on for y'all to show that still works. Put it on my stand. So, oops, almost fell off my stand. <laughs> Low gear, shift, high gear. Front lock, rear lock, open, open. Do a small little test for y'all. I'll go from low gear, or high gear, sorry. To low gear. I'll try to climb up that little piece of wood right there and open open. Not much. Just the front, see what happens. Again, not much. Sorry, kind of doing this with one hand and trying to keep you all able to see the video. Now fully locked, low gear. Let me get the angle. And there we go, no issues at all. Now, <clears throat> I do have the stock wheels and tires for the truck. Uh, these are the ones off the Bronco. Uh, I didn't like the ones off the Blazer. So like I said, guys, I'm willing to shoot this video again. I'll do a walkthrough of the truck uh, just before I do it to show you I haven't done anything funky. Uh, the Warren winch is not hooked up. So I did not use it because you can see in the video I backed away from the pole. 
Um, but I'm willing to shoot the video again. It's super fun. Uh, I'll do a walkthrough, and if I break something, oh well. I mean, once you start showing off and trying to prove people wrong, that's when things go wrong or stuff breaks, but that's part of the hobby. You break it, you fix it, you repeat. Um, it's a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun shooting this video. I didn't think the other video would catch so much traction and so much attention, but I love this. And I keep saying in every video, Traxxas has made one hell of a truck. This is insane. Um, but like I said, I will do a walkthrough and I'll do it again for you guys. I'm super happy to. I'm willing to push my cars to the limit. Um, this is a one-tenth scale truck and these cars have come a long way. I mean, we have the Midnight Pumpkin, the Subaru Brat, the Wild Willys, and the Lunchbox. Those are all remanufactured, but uh, old school cars. And it's a lot of fun. I'm super happy for this. Tr I'm super happy. I'm so stoked. I don't know if you could tell. But this truck does really well. And like I said, I'm willing to do the video again. And I'll go even further. I'll try to turn. Um, if I break something, oh well. Uh, I'll probably just put the stock parts back on or maybe upgrade it. I don't know. Uh, but if I do keep them stock, I'll shoot the video again just to show, show again. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this and that was my follow up um, on the Blazer. And go check out the other video if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm super stoked and I'm super happy with the way these things are. Uh, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.